from the Energy Boutique with your energy forecast for Tuesday, June 6th. So today we have the moon in Capricorn all day, which means that we are very grounded, very much in our physical bodies, very focused on our physical circumstances. We are trying to identify new goals, new path, new direction, new ambition that we actually want to bring to life. We are focused on staying physically engaged with tasks and chores that will help us be productive and show us some instant gratification where progress is concerned here in our physical realms. Of course, this moon in Capricorn energy, very focused on kind of being the boss, because that's what Zodi that's the Capricorn Zodiac features, the general foreman, the boss of the Zodiac, really looking to be the boss of our own lives, to boss up to new levels of authority, to really see where it is that we have to do some serious thinking and really be aware of our roles and responsibilities, what it is that we're still obligated and committed to, and what it is that we need to kind of boss up to when we kind of strategize the plan moving forward on bringing our dreams, our goals, our visions to life. So there are eight different aspects here today. Seven of them will involve the moon. The moon and the sun are going to interact early here today, providing another very interesting observation point on the different choices, options, paths, directions that we have in front of us. Of course, the moon in Capricorn is very focused on long-term goals, willing to sacrifice, um, I'm going to say present happiness, joy, pleasure for long-term rewards. And the sun shining a bright light in Gemini energy is kind of giving us a perspective of the different choices and options that we have on the table. And where in our mental plane, we are rapidly trying to process the variables of each different path, each different direction and decision and what that could actually mean for us. So anytime that the moon and the sun come together in any kind of different aspect, it's our emotional selves and our egoic selves blending together to give us this point in time in the present moment where we see what it is that we are emotionally motivated to pursue and what it is that we physically have the ability to pursue in the here and now. Even more than that, the moon tends to represent the past while the sun represents the future. And this overlap kind of shows us what it is that we have to let go of in order to kind of free up the time, the space, the mental and emotional capacity to jump into new things. And what we're left with is this present moment of seeing where it is that we are trying to tie up the loose ends of the old and where it is that we are trying to initiate the initial steps, if you will, on this path, on this plan, on this strategy to move forward. The moon in Capricorn will make a positive interaction with Neptune, who is in its place of power in Pisces energy. This is our spirituality. This is our intuition. This is our creativity, our imagination, our fantasy. And on the con side, on the shadow realm of this energy is where we get overwhelmed, where we want to disassociate, where we want to detach with life altogether. But this is a positive interaction. So this means that we have more likeliness to align with the pros of this particular energy, which means that the Neptune and Pisces energy is aligning us with our higher selves and opening us up to kind of be downloaded with new ideas, aha moments of inspiration to hopefully motivate us, get our asses in gear to kind of come up with a logical, practical plan on how we're going to bring this to life. So the water energy of Neptune being in Pisces is the emotion, is the inspiration, is the motivation needed in order to actually manifest. And you can't get any stronger manifesting energy than Capricorn energy, which emotionally speaking, the moon is currently in. So we get a grounding opportunity to channel, funnel in some of the higher level inspirations and ideas that we're currently being downloaded with. The moon will square off with Chiron though. Chiron is the wounded healer and getting into a square means that they're getting into the boxing ring. And Chiron, who has been in Aries energy for quite some time now, is really showing us 
yes, our wounds, but again, how to heal those wounds. And a lot of the wounds that we're talking about comes down to our egoic identity. Of course, being in that Aries energy is all about the egoic avatar that we've built. So the moon and Capricorn kind of getting into the boxing ring with Chiron is going to bring up a little bit of the negative Nancy, pessimistic, petty type of narrative. We do have to be kind of sitting in the Debbie Downer mean girl type of energy, really picking ourselves apart, really exposing where it is that we're not feeling so sure, so certain about things. That's okay. Lean into it because the negative thoughts and emotions that come up for us is just giving us a framework and a guide on what it is that needs to kind of change where it is that we need to kind of let go of the old version of self in order to have the time, the energy, the space to really lean into the new version of ourselves that of course we have to align with. We have to be a different version of ourselves in order to create a different reality and circumstance. And of course, all of that is vibrational in nature. So we need to get in the boxing ring and really illuminate where our fears and doubts and insecurities are and the elements of the version of ourself that are no longer needed for this next chapter of creation. The moon will trine with Uranus. This is a beautiful energy, especially coming out of this square. Why is that? Well, because we get a breakthrough moment. We gain clarity in this particular aspect and what we're gaining clarity on, on what needs to change in our physical realms. The moon in, in Capricorn energy, Uranus in Taurus energy, that's earth energy. When we talk about earth energy, we talk about our physical bodies, our physical realm, the physical circumstances in our physical realm, where routines, relationships, money matters, and long-term goals are concerned. So we're obviously having a little bit of a shakeup, a little bit of a wake up due to that square. And now we're having some insight on what it is that we have to do to kind of change the script, change the narrative, change the perspective, change the path and the direction moving forward. Now, Venus, who is the only one outside of the moon's aspects here today, having a little bit of an interaction, will be making a positive interaction with Saturn. So consider the fact that Venus just shifted into Leo energy yesterday. Go ahead, listen to that astro forecast if you need a reminder on what it is that we're about to dive into and what it is that we're currently acclimating to. Venus being in Leo energy is the heart and soul of the Zodiac. This is a positive interaction with the Lord of Karma, Saturn himself, who of course is in Pisces energy. What this is going to do is first of all, ground us out because Saturn, he tends to, you know, bring us back down to earth, if you will, make us a little bit more logical and practical with our heart space, with our emotions, with our passions, with our desire. And this is really kind of bringing out within us where it is that we have to be a little bit realistic in moving forward to pursue new passion projects, new romantic interests, new, let's call it financial endeavors. Again, all of the energy that Venus being in this Leo energy is about to trigger for us from now until October. Saturn is saying, okay, let's, let's deal with this realistically. Let's slow down the pace. Let's not take risks. Let's not act willy nilly. Let's be logical and practical on how it is that we're going to bring some of these things to life. Now, does that feel good? Probably not because all the fire energy just wants us to jump in and get the party started. But, you know, as I've been speaking about, we're not in a time anymore where we can fly by the seat of our pants. Everything needs to be consciously constructed in our favor. There has to be a plan in place. Energy management is a thing. We have to show restriction when it is necessary to do so. And this is a good indication that we need to be very grounded in our approach and our plan and our strategy on how it is that we're going to bring some of these heart activations into the physical realm. The moon and the sun come together again, this time in a much more positive way than earlier in the day. What we're kind of getting here is new information, new insight. We are more informed. We are more educated. We have a bigger, broader picture on the idea that we want to pursue, the plan that we need to strategize. The wheels are turning. The emotions are grounded. We're not getting too ahead of ourselves. We're not getting carried away. We're very logical and practical with the options and opportunities that we are currently sorting through. Um, with this particular, I'm going to say moon and Capricorn energy, keeping us grounded. And of course the sun shining very brightly on this Gemini energy, which is information. 
And of course, we take that information in, we formulate an opinion, a thought about it, we communicate and express those particular aspects outwards. And because we're just kind of sitting and strategizing for our long term goals and plans, this is an aha moment that we are definitely having. We are receiving more puzzle pieces that are going to reveal the greater, grander picture. The moon in Capricorn is going to semi-square, which is a tension point, a conflict point, but not as major as a full square would be. The moon is going to semi-square Saturn, its ruler, who is in this Pisces energy. Right now, this is a tension point. This is a conflict point. Why is that? Well, because the Capricorn energy and the Saturn energy really, really rely on logic and practicality. The moon and the Pisces energy that Saturn is in, they rely on emotions and intuition and magic, if you will, the possibilities. Well, this is why we have a conflict, because we've reached a certain point in the inner workings of our mental plane. We have enough information. We have enough of an idea to kind of sort through. But we're kind of, again, leaning more into the logical, practical, egoic perspective than we are the intuitive magical inspired soul self and so now we're at a conflicting point we don't know what to believe in we don't know what to conjure up we don't know how to proceed forward it's not going to last very long the moon in capricorn is going to trine with mercury who is in taurus energy so this again is our heart and our head on the same page on what needs to change in our physical realms where routines relationships money matters are concerned we are starting to get in agreement with ourselves we're starting to make sense of our thoughts of our ideas of our emotions of our intuition we're blending them together which is the best of both worlds and we are starting to see what it is that we need to do in order to actually move on from this present moment in time <music>